Ladies and gentlemen, the Wireless History Foundation is proud to present the 24 current members of the Wireless Hall of Fame. Edwin Armstrong, an electrical engineer who invented the regenerative circuit in 1912 while still a college student. Armstrong went on to invent frequency modulation technology. He's considered the father of FM radio. Jay Baggett, a pioneer in nationwide messaging and cellular technology. Baggett was co-founder and CEO of Skytel Communications and chairman of American Mobile Satellite Corporation. Thomas Carter, he invented the Carter phone and fought an interconnection battle that led to the landmark Carter phone decision, allowing other devices to be connected directly to the AT&T network. Marty Cooper, executive chairman and co-founder of Arraycom and Dyna LLC, a former vice president of Motorola, Cooper built and managed the paging and cellular businesses during his 29-year career. He continues to innovate and advise the U.S. government. Jim Dwyer, wireless pioneer and entrepreneur, Dwyer was founder of a number of telecommunication companies including Interop Technologies, Wireless One Network, Independent Cellular Network, and the American Cellular Telephone Company. Jim Dwyer died August 6, 2010 in Florida, leaving behind a network of family, friends, and colleagues. Brian Fonts, Chief Executive Officer of the National Emergency Number Association, Fonts was also an executive of AT&T Wireless and CTIA. He had a distinguished career in government and served as FCC Chief of Staff. Robert Galvin. For almost 35 years, Galvin was Chairman and President of Motorola Incorporated from 1956 until 1990. He created the Galvin Electricity Initiative in 2005 and remains active in the business and nonprofit community. Mal Gurian, Chief Executive Officer of Oki Telecom, the first cellular phone manufacturer to receive FCC certification. He is also President Emeritus of the Radio Club of America. Arlene Harris, CEO of Dyna LLC, a serial entrepreneur, inventor, investor, and innovator in paging, mobile telephone, and cellular management systems and services. Harris was founder of Subscriber Computing and co-founder of Jitterbug and Cellular Business Systems. Dale Hatfield, an expert in spectrum management policy, Hatfield served with distinction at the FCC and NTIA. He has four decades of experience in telecommunications policy and regulation. He is currently on the faculty of the University of Colorado at Boulder. Erwin Jacobs, co-founder and chairman of Qualcomm and co-founder of Linkabit Corporation. Jacobs also served on the faculty of electrical engineering at MIT and UCSD. The engineering school at UCSD bears his name. Jacobs is well known as a philanthropist who supports education and the arts. Jay Kitchen, an FCC wireless telecom policy advisor, Kitchen became a wireless association leader of the National Association of Business and Educational Radio and the Personal Communications Industry Association. Fred Link, founder of Link Radio Corporation, Link was Radio Club of America president for a quarter of a century from 1968 to 1992 and president emeritus until his death in 1998. Craig McCaw, founder of McCaw Cellular Communications. He is also the founder and chairman of Clearwire Corporation and founder and CEO of Eagle River Investments. William McGowan, founder of MCI Communications Corporation. McGowan was chairman of the company until his death in 1992. Morgan O'Brien, co-founder and chairman of Nextel Communications, O'Brien was an early advocate within FCC for land mobile communication services and a longtime champion of improving public safety communications. John Palmer, founder of Mobile Communications Corporation of America, co-founder of Skytel Communications and director of SmartSync. Palmer was U.S. Ambassador to Portugal from 2001 to 2004. Wayne Shelley launched ARTS, an experimental cellular system in Washington, Baltimore in 1980, which became the second live cellular network in 1983. Shelley also launched the first PCS system in the U.S. in 1995. John Stanton, founder of Trilogy Partners and director of Clearwire. Stanton was the founder and CEO of Western Wireless Corporation and chairman and director of T-Mobile USA. 
previously Voice Stream Wireless. Denny Striegel, retired president and COO of Verizon Communications and former president and CEO of Verizon Wireless. Striegel was also president of Ameritech Mobile and president and CEO of Bell Atlantic Mobile. John Stupka, founder and president of STS and chief of staff to president and CEO at AT&T Mobility. Stupka was also president and CEO of Southwestern Bell Mobile Systems and president and CEO of Skytel Communications. Andrew Viterbi created the Viterbi algorithm, co-founder of Qualcomm and Linkabit. Viterbi served as a professor of electrical engineering at UCLA and UCSD. The engineering school at USC is named in his honor. Tom Wheeler, managing director of Core Capital Partners, CEO of CTIA, president of the National Cable Television Association. Wheeler was chairman of the Foundation for the National Archives and trustee of the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. Dick Wiley, founder of Wiley Ryan. Wiley was FCC general counsel and commissioner and FCC chairman under three U.S. presidents. He is a recognized author and lecturer on telecommunications and information law. Ladies and gentlemen, the 24 current members of the Wireless Hall of Fame.